Richard starts by tying in some Ato red uni thread, starting at the head of the fly. He then ties in a small butt using glow floss. This is a luminescent material and can be charged up with a torch or UV light as required. The Cossiboom is originally a salmon fly. It was created in 1923 by American angler John C. Cossiboom. He lived in a place called Wound Socket on Rhode Island, but he used the fly fishing for salmon in the rivers of Nova Scotia. Today it remains a very popular and effective Atlantic salmon fly and is used worldwide. So here's stage one of the fly complete with the thread and the glow floss butt. Richard now uses holographic silver for the body of the fly, starting at the head and then tying in at the butt end. then wrapped around the body before being secured at the head. So here's stage two complete with the holographic body. Next is the hackle. And yellow cock feathers seem to work well in this variant of the fly. Richard adds a dab of super glue here and this helps to make the fly more resilient to repeated maulings by sea trout. So there's stage three of the fly with the hackle tied in. The wing material is grey squirrel and this is tied in behind the head. Mm -hmm. 
Richard gently persuades the wing into position. Before adding another dab of glue. So there's stage four with the finished wing. Three strands of crystal flash help to give the fly more movement and attraction. It's now starting to look like a fly that might catch a fish. And here's stage five completed with the crystal flash in place. Next, Richard ties in jungle cock eyes. The jungle cock is optional, but it certainly makes the finished fly look more attractive. Hopefully to the fish, but definitely to the angler. And finally, a whip finish, which creates a neat head, and then finished off with clear varnish. Richard stumbled across this variant pattern about four seasons ago. It's been quite successful for him, especially in the early part of the Cluid sea trout season, towards the end of June, when the main runs are starting. In fact, Richard has said it's his go-to fly for the first few weeks of the sea trout season. And here it is, the Cossiboom variant, as tied and used by Richard Roberts, Brill and St. Asif Angling Association. Here are some that Richard has tied in sizes 12 to 6. On single hooks and double hooks and using aluminium tubes between 1 and 1.5 and inches. This silhouette view perhaps shows how a sea trout might see the fly at dusk on the River Cluid never the clearest of rivers. You can see how effective the glow floss butt is, and this could make all the difference between attracting a take and not, and it can be used on the dropper or the tail. Finally, a big thank you to Richard for sharing this great fly with us. See you next time.